Jeeves Family Channel, guys. And today, we're going to do another deep search video. Stop. Anyway, another deep search video. This is to the CEO business unit, business unit, business unit, business owner unit that was put out on Treasure Hunting with Jeeva's channel on Tuesday. So we talked a lot in that video about how we're gonna have to penny out and try to get as much profit out of this unit as possible because right off the bat we didn't see anything. All we saw was rags. So we're literally trying to make rags two riches in this video so don't forget to like the video subscribe if you're new most importantly and let's get into this deep search all right so as you can see behind me we have a full van worth of stuff that we have to try to penny out to make our 570 dollars back this is just the bad luck you have sometimes sometimes you got to do what you got to do to make all that money back but these this is literally empty and this is labeled just one gallon. I think there's one of these that has Febreze on it, but it's literally just cleaning agents. So these are gonna go in the trash. All right, so this thing is like a, that's obnoxious, a key thing. So it's where they hung all the customer keys, I guess, in here. I don't know if this thing itself has any value, but I'm just gonna set this aside in like a research pile, or Jeebus is over here. He's gonna help me look it up. This box right here is, oh boy, like 20,000 of these, they're all empty. Another one of the big like clear buckets. This right here, just a cleaning bucket. So I'm gonna chalk this box up as completely trash. Can we point something out here? This person has all the customer keys, obviously business owner. They're all the house keys from the customers are still in here. Imagine if I was a robber and I just decided I wanted to buy this unit. I'd have keys that I've seen like two office buildings, a bank building, a coffee shop, tons of houses. Look, it says office first floor, office basement. <laughs> I mean, I could break into every building in California if I wanted to. By the way, good thing we're not criminals. 120 key, if that's what this is, they're like $130. Nice. So I'm gonna try to make this a little easier for you guys to see because I realize that when I'm recording down here you guys can't see in the boxes until I lift it up. So I'm gonna keep this GoPro on and switch to that angle when I open the box. Whoa, that's heavy. I need your help. <sighs> Alright, so this is what we have in this box. I think, pretty sure this is one of the all paperwork boxes, but most of the paperwork... <laughs> Sorry, the camera kind of cut me off guard. Most of the paperwork that we have seen in here is like employee paperwork or stuff like this where they order supplies. Uh, this is where they probably order business cards. Blah, 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 blah. Checkbooks, um, an extension cord, which I know can sell pretty easily. Uh, this stuff, training, DVDs. I mean, this kind of stuff we're definitely not getting any value on and I mean honestly most for the most part like this is like claim forms for the most part all of this office stuff is definitely going to have to be like dollared out and we'll just I don't know sell it in bulk to see what we can get back from it. Drum roll please so we've looked the printer up in the final verdict $32 with free shipping if it's brand new so take 20 off that most likely to ship that box. $12 brand new. Resale, we'll be lucky to get five in the flea market. Real quick, this stuff right here was in the corner of that unit as well. Uh, assuming it's some kind of mop thing where you can just attach something to like these blue pieces and then just more poles and something like this. I don't really know what this cleans, but a couple brooms as well. I might take this to the flea market and see what we can do with it, but I definitely want to try to get a few bucks for it. Okay, this is the one that we showed at the beginning of the video with the fan in it. So I definitely want to take the fan out and sell that for a quick five to ten. Depends on how nice I'm feeling, I guess, when somebody asks. Might be flea market, might be um, listing, I don't know. I mean, the rubber part's coming off down here at the bottom. And I don't know if this goes to it. I feel like it, it does just to weigh it down. So I'm just going to put that beside with it. Paperwork's trash. These water bottles, probably trash. These, I mean, honestly, I feel like if I just wrap it up like this, I can sell it for $2 or a dollar at the flea market. And honestly, like these little totes right here, 
Like I said, trying to find every dollar I can, but if I just take this out, I can sell each one of these for like $2. So I mean, that's profit right there, or not profit, but something back. Everything else in here is trash. So I just want to get these things out, clean them up a little bit. And like I said, a couple bucks a piece right there. Got some more boxes out of the van. Most of the totes like these had uh, just rags in them. So this is like a squeegee and it looks to be a lot of these like laundry bags. Again, I, could, I feel like I'd be able to like make a bolt listing on them. It's literally like full of laundry bags. So I'm assuming this is what this company put like all their dirty rags in or something. So again, I'm gonna keep this tote together to list that as a bulk. Here's the Febreze container I was talking about. It's trash. This is probably trash because it's so dirty. I remember pulling this out of the unit and realizing that the vacuum's probably not in there because it doesn't feel that heavy. And lo and behold, when we open it, just another one of these things, which will go over there. A part of a vacuum, which I don't know how, I mean, it looks dirty, but I don't know if it works or not. Another squeegee, which I'll put over there. And literally, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of vacuum packs. Again, bulk sale locally or at the flea market. I gotta get something for them. Okay, as you just saw on eBay, sold listings, they're going for like 12 bucks for a new one with free shipping. Judging by the fact that I could list them at $10 and obviously get talked down, I might be able to sell that whole box, which has like six or seven packs in there for like 20 bucks, just cause they're gonna buy all of them, hopefully. So we'll call it 20 bucks. Stop the video. We have had a ton of requests for new merchandise, guys. So we went in and we did all kinds of new shirts, storage auction shirts, resale shirts, entrepreneur shirts, everything you could think of for you other resellers out there that are just like us brand new being released today so if you think these shirts look sexy which we know they do go check them out link will be down in the description below get it first like we said just released today so all i see right here is a bunch of these are actually like employee w2 so that has to go in the garbage i don't really know what these go to i don't know if they just hang on those metal racks that we found but I'll try to keep as much of those aside as I can because I don't know, like I said, I don't know what to hang on. This is a bunch of the company stickers, uh, Velcro things, and mints. <laughs> they have like packages of mints with their like their company logo on it. And that's trash. We have some dry erase markers which will go, there's a big dry erase board in that unit so we'll keep that. Uh, literally, I think I skimmed this box while we were there. Literally, all of these pencil pouches are full of mints with the company logo on there. So I feel like I might be able to empty them and put the pencil pouches in like a lot of school supplies. That's the only way I can think of getting any money for them. Again, this is a calculator, so that'll go with school stuff. Some dry erase markers, again school stuff literally look over here making a box full of school supplies because i know that there are um a lot of people that go to the flea market or even look on facebook marketplace that like put together suitcases and stuff to send to like their country so we'll try to pack a box like that together for everyone and all these i'm assuming are what the employees like took to people's houses because they all have mints in them they all have, look at this instructions. Toilet paper folding the made pro way. They folded the toilet paper. That's pretty interesting, but that's it for that box. This tote right here, empty cleaner box. Why do you save this stuff? I don't understand. And then on top of that, we have a, a, a tote of empty cleaner bottles and then one, two, three, four extra tote tops. And there's not even four totes without a top in the whole unit. I opened before has actual cleaner in them so i mean i might keep stuff like this just for around the house and a couple of these i'm gonna keep this for the bathroom we have windex look at this i get free cleaning supplies right off the bat i see shoe covers these should be an easy sell actually so let's look packs of these shoe covers you put over your shoes to keep it clean 
But they're like unopened, unused. I mean, we might get some eBay value out of those. This is one of the many totes of just rags, which I'm hoping to at least get like maybe, I don't know, $5 a box for that. Cause I think we found like $35 or 35 rags for $12 or something. Yeah, you know, with free shipping, so they don't go for much. This right here, I'm gonna take a few of. They're magic erasers, but again, I feel like it's an easy sell. Six dollars free shipping. So not much. You're literally getting like <laughs> a dollar, a dollar a box. Okay. Jeez. So flea market. Yeah, flea market. Like I said, pinning it out, literally making a rags to riches. All right, let's put. Yeah, um, let's put these magic erasers aside. This is a uh, uniform. Hey, look, the Almighty hand sanitizer. <gasps> -da! I can't say too much about that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so these are just company uniforms. These are probably trash, but still, if I put it out at the flea market, I mean, who knows? Maybe somebody works for that company and will take them. We have coffee and creamer. That's it. Yeah, that, that's a, a definitely trash box right there. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so more of these totes. Like I said, a couple bucks a piece for these. And all this stuff has paper in it, so that's gonna go. Recycling boxes. So that off to the side. Oh, thank you. This I'll empty as well. This I'll also empty. This goes with all that stuff over there. What's this? Literally a bag full of rags. So where is that other? We'll set that right there with all the other rags. And then down here, we already saw this in uh, the main channel video, but this is a clear sticker on it. It says broken, doesn't pick up. So that's probably just trash. Just real quick, this box, more of these paper cups. Like I said, I think you probably get a couple, a couple bucks for each pack of those. So this will go over here and there is Pretty sure I saw three packs in here. It's another one of these. It's another one of these blue shells. It even has the instructions in this one. We have four of these blue shells, which is awesome. We'll either use them or we'll sell them for like 10 bucks a piece. So that's cool. This is, I think we were kind really of confused by this one. So this is like hose and then vacuum heads. Um, I don't know if it hooks up to like a universal like contraption that picks up and holds the dirt but we got those so we're gonna have to look up that brand and model number what is this it extends um did they put a magic eraser on it or something i don't know but there's one two three four if you guys know what these things are let me know Leave a comment, because I have no idea. What is this? What the heck is that? If anybody knows what this is, what is that? Let me know. Some kind of cleaning contraption, obviously. Machete. Um, this is the same thing, but new. Uh, these are dryer sheets, which we're keeping, because we were literally almost out. Here's another thing of dryer sheets, which we're keeping. That goes over here with the brooms. This can go in the trash. This can go in the trash. Oh, maybe these things go on that. Mm. Like this. Oh, that's okay. It puts it in there. I, that might, I don't know. It's, nah, too, it's long. too long. I'm pretty sure this is just all rags. It's literally a laundry bag full of rags. <laughs> that's the last of these boxes. Let's get some more boxes out. So as far as what we have here, this is more of the vacuum and hose things, which we have to get a price on. This is all rags. This is all rags. This is all rags. So all these are just going to go in the bulk pile of rags that we have. This is more cleaning supplies down here at the bottom. So same thing with that. That's just going to go in a pile. This right here, so this is a little toolbox. I mean, it has the necessity tools in there. You have a hole punch, Phillips head, flathead screw driver, Allen set. That's an easy sell, mostly at the flea market. Uh, we have a stapler, which will go in the office supply. 
This little thing, which probably holds rubber bands or paper clips. We're going to office supply, a router or a modem. So we might have to check eBay for that because we've sold router, routers and modems before on eBay. A tape dispenser right there, an office supply. This, not sure what that is too. Stuff for the HP computer, which I know is in one of these boxes somewhere. I know the monitor is at least, so I'm definitely gonna set that one aside. Yeah, most of this other stuff is just trash. down to the last four boxes of this van load and obviously we got to go back to the unit to get the rest but let's see what we got in these okay so from the looks of this one i've seen these red bags before uh, why'd you knot it there i can't open it you but look at this it's a rag so i'm gonna assume that this is literally a whole red bag of rags so i'm just gonna take that out and use this box for other stuff okay this is the microwave that we found panasonic the genius prestige and how much is that at best buy it's 360 dollars Woo! so we got a good it says inverter there i don't really know what that means but we got a good microwave right here we showed this a little bit in the video but the glass is in the box so okay jeebus is saying close to 100 so i mean i'll probably list it for 100 but honestly I don't know, I can negotiate a little bit. So let's try to get 100 for this. We're on the home stretch now. The keyboard and mouse, which will sell with this. And I'm pretty sure when I looked this up, it was going for between like 30 and 80. But if I list it locally, I might be able to, with that and the CPU, I mean, I we have to look up the CPU and look at the specs and everything, but that might be go, that might go for a good chunk of change. So we'll have to see. Last and final box of this van load, and voila, look at what we got, a bunch of rats. Let's pull it out, make sure there's nothing on the bottom. And of course not. Woo, okay, done with that hard work, got the van empty, got a lot of boxes out, and this is the number that I expect to make from the stuff that we pulled out this time. Now there is like probably a whole nother van load of stuff left in that unit, but on the Treasure Hunter with Jeebus channel, we're not going to show it on there. So you guys have to be here on the Jeebus family channel to see that. And I'm probably going to put these videos out day after day. So you'll, you're seeing this Friday and the part two is going to be out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to Treasure Hunter with Jeebus if you're not already. Leave this video a like. Let me know not. Let me know down. Blah, blah, blah. Let me know now, Jeebus. Let me know down in the comments how you guys like these deep search videos because we definitely will do more of these. If there's def if if there's a unit that's like more boring stuff in a box, it's not good enough for the main channel. It will be here. So let me know what you think of these videos down there. And again, have fun, laugh more, peace out.